What if we take the the voice modifier off? Good to see you in chat, Reactance Theory. Adjust the volume a little bit more on my end. Hope game volume's all right for you guys. Let's see about it. So we got we got a good old eight bit do NES controller. Should already be connected, and we're running on a Super NT. The uh, thank you, Reactance Theory. Thank you. The analog system, which um, emulates the Super Nintendo, and so at, at a at a hardware level as well. Um, so I already did like a little bit of test setup, so we can just erase this file, and start over. Definitely a one-player game. Put in our name. And get started with the third installment in the Donkey Kong Country franchise back when it was just way too good. I mean, Super Nintendo era. Kind of my jam. Super Tecmo, Tecmo Bowl for the win. Love that game. I don't know if I ever played it. Might have to give it a give it a try, Rexter. Oh, we probably have a bunch of channel point redemptions still open about Marvel Snap, but that's okay. We'll figure that out. Is it a football game? Oh yeah, I definitely didn't play it then. Alright, so I, I think all that Grandma says to us here is that we can save our game and she can come back to we come back to her for that. Alright, easy save. Aren't you going to give your favorite relative a goodbye kiss? Nah, we're out of here. We're out of here. Not snapping shock? I know reactance theory. A little spicy, isn't it? Yeah, we finally we finally up here with some Donkey Kong. Interesting. You can go ahead and go to the general store before even starting the game. Alright, so I remember most of this game. There's definitely a big long trading sequence with all these bears. Yeah, all of his brothers are scattered all over these items. Um, pop in and say hello, meet him on the travels. Yeah, we're switching it up, Ram Ram. Good to see you in chat. Kind of shocked too, Rickster, to be honest. Oh man, I love me some Super Nintendo, though. All right, where's this shell from? Found at the bottom of a lake, Orangutan. Orangutanga. All right, would you like to purchase this? I would, but I don't have enough money, so you gotta be joking. All right, and is that a mirror? Oh, it was Cranky's great-grandfather? No less than 50 coins? Holy smokes. All right, well, we know where these things are now, so that when we come back and uh, have to actually play the trading game, we know where we can start off at. Oh, I can swim? Are we just going to do all the stuff we're not... This is slow. We're not doing this. Get out of here. Let's get to our speedboat. Alright, Funky in this game, not actually a air pilot. 
but a boat mechanic. He set up a smoking new boat shop. Oh, and it's my excellent cousin Kitty Kong along for the ride. He may be a toddler, but if you let him throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Yeah, that's our, our new Kong in this game. Kitty Kong, the youngest of the Kongs, the cousin, cousinest of the Kongs. Only hitting us with the wear, but I didn't hear it. Did it play? Uh-oh. Oh, interesting. Are we missing a browser source? No, they're here. Hmm. Might have to debug that later. Alright, let's get on our motorboat. See here, if I play where I do where will it work? Have you checked your bundles? Okay, I just can't hear it. Okay, no problems. We are back to the old days where we had to do mic checks because uh, this headset will not stay on if it has no audio coming into it. But now I've got a new mic, so we're not tied to the headset mic. But my PC audio definitely is. Yeah, Reactance Theory remembers the old days of the, the mic checks. That was a first, uh, a fun first couple streams that we had. Hey, you tell me to press A, but what does that do for me? Okay, that's what it does for me. Figured it out. Broke right through the, uh, broke right through the floor. remember exactly what goes into 100%ing this game. Uh-oh. We're not gonna run out of time. It's okay. I know for the first game, we collected all the Kong levels in- or all the Kong letters in every level- level. Which was kind of a pain, because I had to re-watch stream to remember which ones I had found and which ones I hadn't. And then the second one, we just made sure we got 100% map completion, I felt like. Or maybe it was just all the levels. This one's got some pretty good collectibles in it, too. You got those, uh, DK guys that have the DK coins that you have to beat up in order to find them. I forget, the Kong letters may or may not be part of the overworld map completion. Like, there might be an icon. And if there is, then we'll try to clear it. Oh, good old green bananas. That's not something you see every day. It sure would be embarrassing if I missed one of these early mini games. Luckily, we don't have to worry about that. Alright, and then we get introduced to our first animal buddy. And I cannot remember his name for the life of me. Get a little Yoshi hop there, get a couple extra one-ups. Find ourselves a bear coin. This one's a little bit different from DKC2. There's not really a prize for hitting the end goal at the right moment. You just get to the end goal. I do believe that means 100% completion. Like, Dixie beat it. That's why it's pink. 
and then the little triangle represents 100%. Right? If, if I'm recalling correctly, we're doing all right to start off with. Getting introduced to a door mechanic here. Very standard difficulty curve there. First teach you the mechanic, put it to test a little bit. Right, easy to go. Yo, the big O. Good to see you in chat, bud. Did I already lose my other Kong? How did that happen? Yeah, we're just doing a little Donkey Kong Country 3. And somehow I've lost Kitty Kong. Not quite sure how. I need him to be able to solve that puzzle. Hmm. Disappointing. Already finding a checkpoint, too. Yeah, there he is. Wait a second. What's going on here? Why can't I break this barrel? Have I already... Have I found a bug in this game? Okay, well this is awfully disappointing. I guess we're just gonna have to solo sh solo this. The Bigo, you were you were more than correct. He's only gonna show up when he wants to. What a shame. There's so many things that I cannot complete with that. Wait, did he show up? There he is. Wow. Okay, well. How disappointing. Guess we're playing this level again. Woo! Oh, I did it anyway. Why did you want me to go left? There's a bonus barrel over here. Alright, there we go. Find the bonus barrels. Ooh, bonus barrel to find the coin. Easy, easy baby challenge. Remind me that I said that when we were on about world 5 and 6. Alright. Don't fall in the hole. Alright, well, we got all the letters, at least. Why are there so many doors? I was not expecting that to just be a handle up there. Gosh, this one had... All three of the Donkey Kong countries had such a fire soundtrack. Oh wait, come back here. Oh wow, I'm... We got, oh, it came back to me. Okay. Nice game. Give me a second try. Reality is often disappointing in the words of Thanos. <laughs> Amen. How did I get in there? Whoa. What if I do this instead? Would it be... Wow, I am struggling. I really just need you to slide in there. Nope. Okay, and it just disappeared. Is this a difficult challenge? Is it just because I'm using Diddy that this is difficult? Or Diddy, uh, Kitty. Look at this, I don't even know these Kong's names. I haven't played this in 30 years. Oh, come on. Alright, 
right. Well, we're gonna come back with Dixie. We gotta redo the stage anyway. It's obviously Kitty's comms fault. Obviously. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that at least confirms it, right? Now it's blue, but no, no triangle stripe. So we don't have everything in the stage, which we knew. We did know that. I don't think I, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I opened that door. Are these enemies going to respawn? No. Okay. So those are not one-time collectibles. They keep reappearing. Good to know. Alright. How do we get up there? There we go. Okay. I think uh, that would have worked with Dixie as well. I just did it wrong. Like 60 stars. All right, let's go. Let's go. So I think that's the one bonus barrel we were missing, and all we gotta do is get the DK coin. Dog working for the USPS. <laughs> Alright, we can get through here pretty quick. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. It was a handle. It was a lot more than just a uh, barrel. We don't have to go left this time, or right. We already got that bonus barrel. Pretty sure the only thing we are missing is the coin. I did it. That's the second time that I specifically went back down to avoid the bee. And look at this. Now we don't have Dixie, which was the whole bit. I was like, oh, this is only possible with Dixie. Also, I just missed the ledge as well. Oh, um, can I? Yeah, I can. I can just leave. Say goodbye to the feature location. Oh, yeah. 1009. New shop refresh too. new missions. I might check my shop on my Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. There we go. Alright, this time we got Kitty in front. So if we run into a bee again, we still have Dixie. I, I need these coins, right? Like, they are currency to buy stuff. You always notice when you played this decades ago, they always show up when they want. Yeah, this one's... This one's definitely got some... Some sprite loading issues. It's a good game though. Uh, definitely made by a different team. Damn it. Than the original Donkey Kong. Country. And DKC2. I'm pretty sure that team went on to... Create DK64. Now watch this, we're going to get this first try with Dixie. 
Look at, see what I'm talking about? Oh my gosh, Kitty is such a bad Kong. This is why it's a Dixie's quest. Okay, my one-up balloon. Oh, I missed it. Whatever, let's go. Alright, that's 100%. That's 100%. Oh, yeah! Oh, wrinkly. Speaking of which, she's got a, a Nintendo 64 sitting right there on the floor. Nintendo 64, some bananas. I don't know, nothing else of super interest. This is another... Carnival Island? Isn't this another bear? Yeah, look at this bear. How's it going, Dixie? Barnacle's me name, and I've set up home here to build some shop. Don't think there's anything which would persuade you to get rid of this bird. Okay. Well, he's got a lot of shells. You guys notice how many shells he had on his shelf on his uh on his shelf there? I think maybe if we go buy that shell for his shell shelf, he'll give us that bird. Um, all right, I need a, need a, a tongue, buddy. What was that? I cartwheeled. All right, let's see here. We need to find ourselves a Kong buddy. To kill that guy. There's a Kong. And then we have to go all, all the way back. this one more time here there we go exactly as planned the idea is I have to use Dixie throw really high yeah, okay that makes sense Alright, DK coin right off the bat. We can do his little... Oh, wait. It didn't work. Can't I, like, bounce off the water or something? With this guy? How does it work? I know there's, like, a water bouncing mechanic. All I'm doing are the coyote jumps. Hmm... I definitely know this guy's got a water bouncing mechanic. I just have to figure out how to actually use it. Ooh. Unguard. Being rewarded for moving left in a platform. What are the odds? What are the odds? Alright, 30 stars is unguard the fish. Not a problem, not a problem. I don't have to kill this guy, but I'm going to. Oops, I missed one. Alright, there's probably at least one more barrel here. I mean, this is even before the midway point, so... Feels likely. See here. There it is! Alright. I got it that time. Protect the species? <laughs> nah. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is... Way too difficult to do. Can I just hold the button or something? Do I have to like literally tap it perfectly on top of the water? Yes, I have to literally tap it perfectly on top of the water. I don't hard to get it more than once. Calculated.
Okay, found the end. Alright, let's see if we can do this water bouncing thing again. Absolutely not. Oh, we have to to get up there to the... Oh, no. Oh, no. That was a one-shot Andy. We don't get to try that again. Did I make your deck, my deck for Clash yet? No, nowhere close to Vigo. Um... I want to play a lot of battle mode, try to figure, because I, I think that the meta for battle mode is going to be different from the meta for ladder. A couple of my initial thoughts are like, every card should have at least one tech card, right? Like, for every deck. So like Enchantress, uh, Cosmo, Every one of those should have at least at least one of those, right? I'm thinking that I could potentially play. This doesn't look complete. I see. So it's fully erect flag if you get all the bonus barrels. A yellow flag if you get the DK cool me. And then the color for the one that beats it. Um but yeah, I am thinking like maybe an idea is to run um, Enchantress in one deck and Super Scroll in another, or if not Super Scroll, maybe uh, Rogue, right? But then it's like, all right, there you go. There's there's no ongoing deck, no matter which of the two decks I bring, that I can't count. Um, I've also thought, like, putting Leech in a deck, as mean as that is, like, might be a really good idea. And because it's an open deck list, it might be, like, the threat of a card is just as important as actually having the card. So, like, simply having my Leech deck be noticeable and, you know, people know, oh yeah, that's, that's the deck that has Leech in it could make them like have to play their hands early and have to play so that they don't you know they don't have their turn six combo they got to play it prematurely early so i'm thinking about stuff like that where you know if you have a deck that wants to shang chi on six for instance then maybe putting leech in that deck is good because my opponents know I have Leech in my deck. And if they know I'm playing that deck, they're probably gonna not hold their cards. All right, we gotta get this in. We gotta do this. But they're probably not gonna hold their cards for turn six, because I might, I might Leech them on five. So I don't know, I've gotta think about it. I've gotta think about it a lot. And I wanna play a lot of, a lot of battle mode. All right, let's do this. That was, all right, can we reset? I don't know if that's before or after the halfway point. Hopefully after. Yeah, okay, good. Get a DK barrel. Get rid of this annoying guy. All right. Easy peasy. We just bounce off the wardle. I know you guys have seen it on the Discovery Channel. Monkeys be rolling up in balls and bouncing off of the water all the time. Games used to be hard. Ooh, are you going to go for Modoc Hella next month? I, mean, I still feel like it's kind of a casino deck, but I mean, you got Invisible Woman in there, right? So you could also just put Modoc behind Invisible Woman. I think it's going to make him very spicy. Yeah, Invisible Woman. I think Hello's going to get get really spicy when Modoc comes out.
this one, uh, the level of this one called Idle Trouble. One of my favorite things about the Donkey Kong Country series, just their love for alliteration in level titles. Yeah, I'm honestly really excited for like a MODOK Apocalypse Swarm deck. I think there's something else you can put in there too. Oh my gosh. I'm doing it way, way too early. I gotta be less scared of it. And honestly, yeah, you can throw Ghost Rider in there for sure. Wow. Wait a second, can I cheese this? Can I cheese this? Will you get back out of your barrel for me? Wake up. Yeah, thank you. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna try to cheese this. I'm glad to see Discard get some love. I think that archetype needed... No, I can't. I can't helicopter spin off the after bouncing off something. I think Discard needed a little bit of something. Because it was definitely... That archetype was draining out of the meta. And I think it's just... I don't know. The RNG element of the hella deck i mean invisible woman definitely helps tighten that up yeah living tribunal looks like a really cool card i didn't press it the second time you gotta press it every single time you touch the water We still have, um, what, two cards to release this season? There's Shadow King. Return all cards here to their original power. Which is going to be rude against Shuri decks. And then... What's the other one? Oh, Dazzler. Dazzler, which... Based off of the little bit of Shauna gameplay I've seen, Dazzler is not going to be bad. Level Tribunal, uh, Living Tribunal OTK? Oh my fucking god. I spent all this goddamn time getting up here. Oh, thank goodness. Free retry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, Tobigo, tell me about this Living Tribunal one turn kill you're talking about. At least I'm assuming that's what OTK is standing for. It's what I think about when I think about it in Hearthstone terms at least. Well, there wasn't my chance to bounce again. I guess I didn't really need it. Um, give me that G. Refresh my memory. What is... Is it in card? It is. Oh, but you can't see it in this layout at all, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, final turn kill. Also, it says split your total power evenly among all locations, right? So you don't even need to have uh, cards there. If it said split your total power evenly among all cards, you know, you'd have to play it differently. But this is straight up just like build a really fat big old lane and then split that power across all. It's definitely doable. It's also a way to get off of a lane that you're overcommitted to. You know, 
If you accidentally overcommit to a lane, you can play Living Tribunal and redistribute that power. But how are you thinking of using it, Dabigo? For that, that final turn kill. I mean, at first I'm thinking stuff like Shuri, but you need to have turn six open, right? 112 power wasp and living tribunal. Okay, so like the Shuri Wong. Oh my god, you've got Zabu now? So you can, like Shuri Wong on the same turn. Yeah, so you do something like a, a Shuri Wong Odin, or maybe, maybe throw in some Forge there. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, the first thing I think I'd put Tribunal in is my Shuri deck. Oh, there might be some crazy stuff you can do with Iron Man as well. Split your total power evenly among all lanes. So doesn't that just create power with Iron Man? Right, let's say, let's simplify this. Let's say you have 20 power on one lane. No, that, that was a bad, bad thing to simplify. <laughs> let's say you have 30 power in one lane. And then you play Living Tri- Let's say you have 26 power. Let's say you have 26 power in your Iron Man lane. And then you play Living Tribunal, which means you have 30 total power. That splits across all 10 lanes. Then does the Iron Man lane have 40? I mean 20? So that you have a total of 40 total power? Right? Like it would create power. Yeah, tryhards come up with all sorts of decks. I'm pretty sure. My gut tells me that you can create power with Iron Man and Living Tribune. Because it's going to split that power evenly, and then the portion that Iron Man gets evenly, Iron Man's going to double. Ooh, crush. Good to see you in chat. The Living Tribunal. <laughs> Ooh, we 100% at that level. That's why I like to see. Murky Mill. I'm telling you guys, DKC's got the best alliterations. Ooh, a dark level? A dark elephant level. Uh, yeah, I, I definitely try to. Um... There's a couple of reasons for it, Crush. But the it all kind of boils down to the more water I drink in a day, the better I feel and the better I perform. All the way down to just like short term memory. I'm sure I need a barrel for something, right? Why is this? Why is this level so dark? Are you scared of mice? I forget. Isn't this thing like super scared of mice? Yeah, that's what I thought. The moment she saw the mouse, she ran away. So that's why we have to use the bells to destroy the mice. Got the O. How do I get around this? Do I have to carry a barrel all the way? No, I just kill it outside of the light. Ooh, okay, I see. So if they're not in the light, I'm not scared of them. That's pretty good. Find ourselves a bonus barrel. Bash the baddies. Pretty little convenient screen here. 
Oh no, never mind, I take it back. I was gonna say it doesn't go off unless you actually press the button. But that was that was determined to lie. Oops. Another one here. Easy puzzle. Way easier than that one puzzle, which was the exact same, except using Kitty was ridiculously difficult. Oh, I kind of, I kind of feel you on that, Debigo. Like I want to see Kang in action before I, I spend the 6K. Now that being said, as a streamer and a, um, wow, good job. As a streamer and somebody who needs easy YouTube content, purchasing Kang right away and being the guy that, you know, shows you how it works, probably a little beneficial. But 6,000 tokens is still 6,000 tokens. And I am definitely team board tokens. Probably get him regardless. I think he's gonna be a very interesting card very fun to play but i just don't i don't know i think he's gonna be kind of like fuck i think he's gonna be kind of like daredevil where it gives you absolute knowledge but in somewhere between 40 and 60 percent of the time your almost knowledge is good enough like you can you can predict with like 80 percent accuracy and confidence and I feel like King's gonna fall into that. But there's a couple of times where you just absolutely, beyond a shadow of doubt, need that absolute knowledge. Like pulling off Professor X or something, you know, with the daredevil analogy. Oh my God. Stupid mice. There it teaches us that we can suck in barrels from far away. Okay. Okay. Oh, I can't pick this up, it's too heavy. That's also extremely true to Big O. It is a full restart, so your opponent can still change their play. And it's any turn, right? So in theory, you can, yeah, on reveal, look at what your opponent did, then restart the turn without King. So you could, in theory, play that on turn six, of course, or cheat it out and play it an earlier turn. Yo, know, wait a second, how does stuff like, how does stuff like wave work? Right, is there, is there some kind of, I need that G guys, holy shit, I need that G. Can I get it? I can't, I don't think I can without a dude to jump off of. Ugh. Let's say we, we put this in a Mr. Negative deck. Um, wait, how do I make this actually doable? Yeah, snapping's a good question too. Does it revert the snap? Right, but I'm wondering, like, if you wave, on turn five and then it gets kanged does that mean turn six is waived does that mean nothing is waived does that mean that your redone turn five is waived you gotta be kidding me i'm not taking another barrel yeah that's right we're brute forcing our way through it oh 
Oh, swanky side sideshow. Let's go. Hello, Dixie. Welcome along to all the new bonus tent. My show's on the road, and it's in every land. The cost of this game? Two coins in hand. There are some great prizes and offer today, so come on in and choose to play. Just to do that, I can't read that fast. Here's some more words, Dixie. Let's play this game. I think it should, I think it should revert the snap. Oh my god, that would be dirty though, right? You snap, you play king, you see your opponent's plays and what cards they have. Everything goes back to hand except for king and then the snap reverts. So you could decide to snap again or just not snap. Oh shit, I'm gonna get beat by Cranky, ain't I? Not a simple game of questions and answers. Because that's what it was in the last game. It was just trivia. Wow, I missed. Oop. Missed. There we go. Oh, we're, we're one away. One away again. Winner. Winner. Let Kang do that to make him more appealing to buy. I don't know, I almost feel like he's appealing enough. Because one of the big things that they have to focus on when they're balancing the game and they're making the game, it's not just like pure power, you know? It is the emotional response to having that played against you and to playing it for that matter. And they want to maximize the endorphins that your brain get. I think that's the right word. You know, the feel-good chemicals. And minimize the others. And I'm, I'm a little worried that if Kang reverts snaps, we're going to have another leader on our hand. The, the card's not that terrible in all aspects. If you look at it on purely a balanced paper standpoint, Mathematically, algorithmically, it's it's actually not that bad, but it feels like garbage, and you don't want cards to feel like garbage either. What are we racing to? Was it thirty? Race to twenty-five? Wow, he threw a baseball at me because I won. That is some. Poor sportsmanship. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything really good for us to win here besides more coins. Kang is nowhere near a leader. I mean, I, I agree to that. I, I'm just saying I'm a little bit worried. Like, I'm... I guess it kind of boils down to, like, how does it feel to have a snap reverted on you from the opposing side? And it's just something that, oh, what the fuck, this guy's huge. It's just something that, you know, until we play with it, we're not going to know. So I guess to that point, I trust that they've played it and they've tested it. And if it felt okay, you know, and they decided that was the best for it, they'll, they'll do what's best for the game. I guess I'm always just at, in complete awe, the second dinner, like, does what they do. It's not easy doing software development. It's not easy doing game balances. And they do that all while communicating with a very early and fresh community. I mean, the, the infinite card back. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? Marvel Snap came out with an infinite card back golden border which at first i was like okay cool you know card back definitely a cooler cosmetic item than a title but like it's just the golden border and i paid more attention to it and the claws 
are golden too. It's not just the golden border, but the, the card back is semi-unique besides the border. The claws are also golden. So it stands out even more. Brand new to well, okay. So uh, have you not seen it, Debigo? Um, they they announced on Twitter. Uh, at least that's where I saw it. It's probably on some other media platforms as well. Uh, that they're going to give everybody who hits infinite a new card back in the inbox um, after the season is over. When you hit infinite. Or when the season ends and you're infinite, you'll get a card back. In your and it's the, it's this. Oh wow! It's the season. It's the season pass one with the claw that comes through, the one that you get on the season pass track. The one that you have to spend money for. You have to pay the season pass and you get that card back with the claw in it. It's that card back except the border is golden and the tips of the claw are instead of being metallic silver, they're they're golden as well. And you just Get it for Hint and Infinite. So you get the title now immediately, and then at the end of the season, they're going to give us a card back. And I think, like, you know, there's been a lot of feedback in the community about, like, titles are just not a good infinite reward. I personally like their um, functionality of being able to identify I'm infinite without changing all my decks. But at the end of the day, like, really, really dirty. What was last last one's Herald of Galactus. Herald of Galactus, I kind of liked. But they're, they're just titles. Like, there are better titles. Like, I'm on the toilet is a better title than any infinite title. So they, they heard the community, and they're giving everybody who hits infinite a card back, in addition to the title. Yes, we will get it. Yep, absolutely, Divigo. We have already earned that. All the matter is them to send it to us in the inbox when the season is over. You're still using, uh, I'm on, or I'm on a toilet, right? That's the one you're using? Because it's excellent, right? It is a absolutely insanely good title. So much better than really, really dirty. Now, some people have like, gosh, some people have some really insanely good um, title and username combos. There's one guy that I ladder up against. His name is Dog Vomit. He uses the Cosmo Avatar, and his title is Extra Crunchy. Playing Agatha? Yeah. Another excellent title. Oh my god, we have to go all the way down here. Don't hit me. Alright, cool. Gotta get this bonus barrel. Alright, this should be easy. They throw a rock, we run- Oh my god, I'm bad at this. Need the Agatha avatar? Well, either first or second. You still need both of them. Oh my god. Why the fuck, why the fuck would they put the exit to this bonus barrel right on top of a fucking midway point that forces you to go backwards through platforming that's made to go in one direction? Bad game design. Or maybe while they were playing this game, they were like, nobody's so bad at this game that they will fail this bonus. It is so freaking easy. And sure as hell, they won't do it twice. No way they would do it twice. I am so fucking nervous. Okay, thank God. Wait, we gotta do it again? You're kidding, right? Okay. You got that chibi Agatha? Or you still haven't got it, hoping that it's in your shop right now? Yeah, you got me wondering what's in my shop, did they go? Ah, Atha. <laughs> That's a good one, Crush. I don't I don't think I've seen that. By the way.
way, wait a second. Like, I know that we we geek out a lot on some Marvel snap art. Can we just appreciate this for a moment? Like, you want to talk about a good fucking pixel art variant? Imagine these pixel trees in a schoolgirl variant. Fucking beautiful, and the parallaxing going on. Ah, ah, God, I love the Super Nintendo guys. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Oh. All right, there we go. Does she make semi smart or logical plays or is she just dumb as ego? She is exactly like ego except for one, one difference. Agatha will play Agatha if she can. Other than that, they are completely random on what they play. And if they can move a card that turn, they will. The big O Super Nintendo over Genesis. Um, I never had a Genesis. I had one friend who had a Genesis. They lived about 45 minutes away. So I only ever went over to the house like maybe twice a year. So I didn't get a lot of experience with Genesis. So it's like, I can't say it was my choice. It was just the one I had. It's definitely my choice now though. I've played some Genesis. So if she gets drawn, she gets played. Crush, um, Agatha always starts in your hand. That's another, um, God, we didn't find all the shit. We didn't find the DK coin or all the bonuses. Uh, one of the bonuses to Agatha is that she always starts in your hand. And she doesn't take up a card slot. So when you play an Agatha game, you start with four cards. Agatha and three others. And then, yeah, as soon as you can play Agatha, if you wave, Agatha will play herself. Uh, if you Psylocke on turn five, and when I say you, I mean Agatha. But that's kind of typically the way you want to do is you want to gain control out of the Agatha deck by either having her play herself via ramp like wave or... Um, Discarding via Lady Sif, and then you bring it back with uh, Ghost Rider. And she's also 14 power. That's pretty damn good. You had both and played Nintendo more. Nice. I mean, there was there was legitimate differences between the two. Yeah, this only has the Super Nintendo, right? No. Do I have a Genesis core on this? I don't think I do. Shit. I think it's the, um... Yeah, in fact, I'm positive. Okay. So, sorry, I was thinking really hard there for a moment. Um... What I'm running on right now is a Super NT... Uh, console? And it's made by the company Analog. And it's a FPGA that's a field programmable gate array. It's basically programmable hardware. And so it's it's actually running like you can plug the original controllers in. You can plug in the original uh, mouse for the Mario Paint. All the original cartridges work. All the original hardware works. And it emulates the game. Well, it emulates the system at a hardware level. So like all the same frame drops, all the same lag inputs, it's, it is retro video gaming preservation at its best. I found the other bonus period. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Easy. All right. In my DK. Um, so anyhow, I have a, what is it called? An, I think it's just Analog NT Noir. I have an Analog NT Noir, which is the NES version, but it, it is cracked as shit with the custom firmware. So, um, I mean, this isn't this isn't a PC, Dibigo. This is, I mean, to be fair, you'd probably be better off with a PC to do emulation uh, because then you can use a PC for other things and you're not spending money on like a specified hardware. But like this is an actual like video game console. Ah, 
Aha! Found it. So the, the NT Noir emulates the NES, but it has a bunch of uh, extra cores on it through the homebrew, not the homebrew, the uh, custom firmware that came out for it. And so like you can play Sega games, you can play um, Atari games, you can play a shit ton, you can play Game Boy, Game Boy Color on that device. I guess my point is like, the Genesis was, I'm pretty sure, a, a weaker console. Like, it just had less hardware. Crush, you had a Genesis? X-Men, the first game ever? I have a Genesis now, with the CDI uh, expansion on the bottom of it and the 32-bit adapter that plugs into the top of it. That thing's a beast. It's like three different consoles all plugged into each other. But I do not have the X-Men game. Don't get hit. Oh my gosh, when I jumped, when I jumped, I thought I was getting hit by an acorn. I was scared to death. Scared to death. X-Men vs. Street Fighter, an excellent game. Alright, so that's a fully erect flag with a stripe. We got a save cave here. Very nice. I would like to save. I'm going to do an actual save, too. There we go. I didn't mean to actually reset the game or the ROM, but... It doesn't actually save the data to the SD card so that it's permanent until you back out to the file select. And I definitely, when I was playing Donkey Kong 1, I lost like four levels because I turned off the console without going to the file select. Riverside race. All right, we got ourselves a speed run here. Speed run level. That means we're not finding any of the secrets. Interesting. We should have done that with Kitty. We'll know that for the next speed run. I mean, it, it's it's not like we're not going to get the first place time immediately on our first try, right? Like, absolutely impossible. Impossible to think that that will happen. I actually don't think it's going to happen because we haven't done... That was the second time that we should have used Kitty in order to do the bounce on the top of the water. Yeah, that's the third time. 1996, you just started your freshman year of high school. What was I in? I was probably in... Sophomore? Junior? See, we got to do this every time on this level. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to just restart this one, but I can't. Fresh was still in elementary school. Wait, wait, what did I say? 96? Guys, I'm stupid. I don't know how old I am. I was six. I was six. I was 10 years off there. For some reason in my head, I thought that was 2006. Yeah, 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 I was six years old. I was like, this doesn't make sense. This game didn't come out when I was in high school. All right, we got to find the DK star and some bonus areas. It's a huge difference. It's a whole decade of a difference, right? Hey, I'm, I'm not the greatest at math. You guys see me play Marvel Snap. Is 
this thing hurt me? It sure does. Okay, so we have to go fast even... Even if we're looking for stuff, because that stuff will hurt us. Whatever those bugs are. Decade schmeckade. Alright. Oh gosh, that was bad. Alright, we're gonna restart. We gotta get those bounces. There's... There's like a bonus barrel up there or something. Within the time of the Earth, it's just but a blip. One decade ain't nothing. Alright, that one wasn't that important for us to get the bounce on, so we're okay. Okay, woo, there we go. Bonus barrel number one. Grab 15 bananas. Got the insane clown posse fish down there just watching us the entire time. The juggalo fish, if you will. Dude, I cannot see these green bananas. Like, could you have picked a worse color for this stage? Oh, gosh. Gosh, oh, gosh. Dinosaurs roamed the Earth for like four million years or something? Yeah, we're, I mean, nah, we won't achieve that. Not to get all doom and gloom, but like, the way we've treated this planet, is the Earth even going to be here in 4 million years? We gotta get on space travel and terraforming like stat. Why was this one so much easier? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's some video I watched which like, gosh darn it, without him we can't do the things we need to do! I actually don't remember if the bonus barrels save. Yeah, but I watched uh, some video which basically just ran through essentially now until the heat death of the universe. And it's kind of insane just like how small of a spec everything ends up being. I'm restarting because I want to start with Kitty. I mean... Did you see that as I was switching characters, the in-game clock was still ticking? Like, rude. Very rude. Definitely supposed to do a little bouncy bounce there. Don't talk about the fact that I failed to. Wow. So good at this game. Ooh, all of WandaVision and Loki? I haven't seen any of WandaVision, but I have seen Loki. I really enjoyed Loki. I thought that was really well done. Those guys are in the fucking way. Like if I barrel roll, if I if I cartwheel to kill those guys, then I cartwheel too early to bounce off the water. I guess I just have to get like real close to their deck and then cartwheel. Yeah, see like, I didn't have enough time to react to that. Oof. Oof. This level's a tough one. This is only like world two? 
Wow, I came in just automatically helicoptering? I didn't know that was a thing. Gotta watch the Ant-Man movies before the new one comes out. I enjoyed them. They got they got that Paul Rudd flavor to them. Which is nice. Yeah, I say I enjoyed them. I think I only saw the one. I don't think I saw both of them. Okay, I guess here we find out if... This, the, the quitting of the level before completing the level, if that saves the bonus room or not. But yeah, as far as like superhero movie goes, yeah, I did save it. Alright, cool. It wasn't the best, right? I like Paul Rudd. I do. Just didn't necessarily feel like some of the other superhero movies out there. Can we not go up here? Is that is that what you're telling me? Okay. Maybe that's not a spot to go up. Maybe we got baited into thinking that was a spot we could go up. Oh, I see. You got to go backwards. You got to go left. And then you get a one-up? We get a one-up for going left? That's not worth it at all. I need, I need a bonus room. Or a DK coin. You're going to hit me. That's just the way that's going to work. I wonder how Snap will introduce King during the next season pass. Uh, they will be like, here, this card, buy it. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be just like um, Shadow King and Shauna were this season, right? It's just a new card. It will drop into Series 5 one of the weeks. You want to explain to me how I'm supposed to bounce on bees and get up there, please? Modok is a next season card. Modok's the next season pass card. Oh, interesting. There's a invincibility barrel down there that I didn't know about. Okay. I can live with that. But yeah, I think they I think they Dana mined it. They found it in the data's Modok is the next season pass card. Bullshit! Bullshit! I killed that guy! Hitbox collision. He is, but also... A card is also in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They... There's a lot of cards that they've got kind of already loaded into the game. Ooh, Lady Deathstrike? Destroy the enemy card with the highest power? Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. Uh-oh, Ram Ram using Space Pilot. That did work all right. Yeah, all right. Well, a little bit of space pilot here as we fly directly into the enemy reptile's face. I think that our only course of action, if we want to get through that bonus uh, barrel and make it through all of the turbulence that is going on in there, is uh, simply for us to calm the heck down. And maybe just fake it, focus on bashing the baddies. Uh, with a little, little twirly twirl. A little twirly twirl, right? 10 seconds, no problem. A little twirly twirl. What about another? A little twirly twirl. Perfect, perfect. A little twirly twirl is helping us fly through to the victory screen. Um, all right, so that's all the bonus barrels, I do believe. Uh, I just got hit in the face. Now I think we can just win the game? We might need to do the speed run as well, because I do you think like what you want to try to beat here in order to get the best goal is the 115. I forget what that does for us, though. Maybe. Oh, that's how we get the um, 115 is how we get the DK coin. Is 
This is gonna go through the water here. Bouncing should have been faster, but I had already missed the bounce. All right. Is Blink you can move this each turn? I thought Blink was you could put this in your hand each turn. And each time you do that, you get one power. Did you just see me thread that fucking needle? Holy shit. I mean, Death Knight, I mean, Lady Deathstrike is gonna work on cards that aren't nine cost, right? So you can still kill the eight cost cards. It's a guarantee destroy. I think that's where her her power comes into play. Okay, I beat the 115. Where the fuck is the DK coin? We're gonna go through this one more time to look for the DK coin. It's Nebula and it doubles its power? Okay. You're right. You're dead right. Man, keeping up with the unreleased cards is is honestly a chore in and of itself. Is there maybe if I go we got to investigate all lefts. Got to find that DK barrel. Got to find that DK barrel. DK coin. What am I talking about? DK coin. Rather play Shang-Chi on turn 6 than Death Strike. And I can play Shang earlier. I mean, that's true. Lady would work in specific situations. Right? I mean, Shang-Chi might destroy four cards. It might destroy zero. Right? Shang-Chi on Wong? Nothing. Nothing. Um, Lady Deathstrike on Wong? Two cards destroyed at that location. Lady Deathstrike on Wong Mystique? All cards guaranteed destroyed unless you destroy like Bucky Barnes. So yeah, you've got to build the situation around Death Strike. I think Shang Chi is going to be applicable in more in more situations. But honestly, the idea of Wong Mystique Death Strike, and it's just like a guaranteed lane win. Also, what was strict? Uh, what was uh, Lady Strike's power? How good is Lady Strike in negative? Four power? Hmm. I mean, that just kind of makes it Chang Chi ish. It's not actually really. There it is. I got to get up there. That's not actually very good in negative. Get out of here! Don't touch me! You fuck! Is there another DK barrel around here? I found the DK barrel. It was it was right over there behind those juggalo fish. If your opponent played a card here, that's not what it does now, is it, Crush? I think Hyktron might be a, a little behind. Death Clown Posse Fish. Amen. Oh my gosh, I was worried about that. Yeah, it's for a beast deck. Okay. I 
Actually, I think the idea here... Check this out. It's a bad idea. Oh, never mind. Ooh. So the idea is we're putting Dixie in front. So that if those evil things... Well, there we go. In Voln frames. There we go. Here's our one shot. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's go get a barrel. Let's go find a DK barrel. Right here, ain't it? Yep. Alright, put Dixie in front. I don't even know what those are supposed to be. They look like butterflies to me. But butterflies not be that mean. So what the heck are they? Oh yeah, fuck you, buddy. Thank goodness. All right, that should be 100% of this level. Oh, I didn't know those things floated. The fuck? Got it. Got it. guys well i'm gonna take a uh, quick brb stretch my legs get some more water well a little bit low um you guys know the deal i run an ad during the brb breaks to reset the pre-rolls and um you know there are some clips on the brb screen which you out there are taking most of them marvel snaps clips some donkey kong country so we got opportunities to make more of them now uh but yeah We'll see you guys in just a little bit and be right back.
Hey, 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 chat. We are back. Thank you for sticking with us through our BRB screen. We got ourselves a new big old giant pint of water. And uh, I checked my shop. This is the second time this variant's shown up in shop. We'll see if I can show it on stream via the phone. This Artem Zola. You guys seen this one before? I've had more than one in real life friend tell me this is the best Artem Zola. And I'm just not sold on it. What do you guys in chat think? Is this worth 700? I mean, we're playing Donkey Kong Country, but we can't help but talk a little bit of snap, right? Take a look at our tokens and stuff. Absolutely. Well, let's just go ahead and jump right back into some uh, Donkey Kong. Been winning most of our levels with Dixie, it looks like. Lots of pink flags. Let's see uh, how many we got to go before we beat this boss. This is actually, I think, only the first world, technically. I think that first boss was only a, a halfway boss or a mini boss. Um, interesting. Interesting. It looks cool. Debigo, you like that one? Do you think there's a better one that I should be holding up to? If you're trying to save credits, don't get it. I mean, I'm kind of trying to save here. Because we got that next drop coming, right? We got the next drop. I want to be able to get plenty of the rotation downs. But do I even have... I guess I should check and see, like, is there any even rotations... Are there even rotations down that I benefit from, right? I don't know. I, I just, I'm not sold on it. Still haven't bought the dino bundle yet. I do, I do like the dino bundle. I like the art for those car for that card. Uh, really? Okay, well, we got a guy who can smash into the ground, but we can't use that to open up a lock. Doesn't seem fair. What are we even doing in this level? Okay, we found a bonus barrel. Found a bonus barrel. And I actually, like, I haven't bought the pro bundle. I've gotten a little bit more tempted by it. I didn't know I could die there. Okie dokie. I've gotten a little bit more tempted by it. As I'm trying to like get tokens, <laughs> honestly, uh, but also in addition to tokens, trying to get like new cards and get some of my cards upgraded. But I don't know. I don't think the pro bundle is going to be worth it to me until cards rotate down. You'll be Series 3 complete again on January 1st because Luke Cage is the only card you're missing from Series 4. Nice. I've got Luke Cage. I do have the cage. You've got him pinned in the token shop. Oh, you're going to be able to insta-buy him. I would definitely try opening a few reserves just in case. Because, right, if it's the only Series 3 you're missing, then in theory, if you open 8 reserves, you're guaranteed to find them. Crush, you want Luke Cage so bad? I did for a long time, too, and I'm glad that I've got him. But I have not used him. I need to just slot him in the Exodia deck. Try to do some crazy stuff. Woo! Frame lags. Let's go. Try to do some crazy stuff with uh, Azmat. How am I supposed to break through those? What the hell is going on in this level? It's like a billion rats to destroy. And I have 
extreme sus on whether or not I've hit them all. Yeah, you're open cash first. Almost 10 credits saved. Nice. I am at zero credits because I spent a bunch of credits upgrading cards, um, which is how I found Absorbing Man. So, you know, can't complain. I also just upgraded cards for Cube Rush, like based off of the deck we built, just to try to bling my deck out a little bit for Cube Rush. So yeah, I've been using, I had like 5,000 credits saved because I was, and that wasn't even on purpose. Uh, that was just because I was so focused on the climb that I was not upgrading any cards. Okay, now we go through and it breaks through all of these. We, we got this this thing open now and there's a bird can you can you fight this bird or are you gonna die okay our bird beats their bird I bet it doesn't beat bees it sure as shit did not beat that bee hope that wasn't something we needed we didn't find the DK coin did we Ugh. I, I bought Super Scroll just to get the first edition badge. That's not even out yet. I have not played Super Scroll yet. I got a lot of new cards I haven't played yet because I was just so focused on the grind. Oh my goodness. I gotta go all the way back through this level and find that DK coin. There is no fucking telling where it is. Like, I always feel when I go through these levels the first time that I do a really good job at scoping everything out. We're also, yeah, we are also missing a bonus level because we got a limp flag outside. We need to get that flag all nice and erect. There we go. Nicely done. Okay, kill that guy. Don't know what killing that guy does for us. We've already been in that bonus room. Hmm. And kill this guy? Halfway point. And this is where it gets really crazy, right? We have to kill like 25 rats. Do I need to get up here? Maybe, did I not get up here last time? I did not get up there last time. Check out this sick ass video game logic, right? If you throw one Kong up to a platform, the other Kong can teleport. Perfect video game logic. Nothing wrong with that. There's the bonus barrel. Been playing some Exodia Patriot, the big O. And you're about to make a Bro 3 with Valkyrie. Bro 3 with Valkyrie embossed uh, is really cool. You can get really greedy with that shit. Um, and oh, fucking green bananas. I don't like green bananas. Um, being able to play Onslaught in Bro 3 is so disgusting. Also, getting Bro and Mystique up to three so that they're powering themselves as well is really disgusting. Okay, so that was... We have accomplished finding the bonus barrel that we were missing. And now, all we gotta do is find... Whatchamacallit? You don't have boss? Yeah. Yeah, you can still do a Valkyrie deck. You just can't be as greedy with it. Um. Aha! Look at that. You see that over there, guys? Get up. We found it. We found it. 
Another little buddy throw here. Good to go. Easy. Yeah, so it's it's really hard to do that with Oh god. It's really hard to do that with Valkyrie because you have to you have to cheat out onslaught. But you can kind of do that. So like you can kind of do that. There's a world where you Psylocke on turn three into Sarah on four into Onslaught on five into Valkyrie on seven. But then you got to ask yourself, when are you playing other three power cards? Maybe, you know, maybe you don't, but... It's a lot easier to pull that off with uh, boss because then you can just play onslaught on six because it's in your hand as three. You don't need it on the. So like running onslaught honestly is like, yeah, magic would work too, and magic's also a three a three power right, so it just fits in bro three anyway. I missed one. Fuck! Whew. So yeah, it's like running Onslaught, I think is too, honestly, I think it's too greedy for Bro 3 unless you have both Valkyrie and, uh, and, and Boss. But I mean, it's possible and you know, we infinite, right, Debigo? So we can play around and have fun, not worry too much about lost cubes. Don't you fucking die. All right, well, whatever that reward is, we don't need it. It's not part of 100%. What is this down here? Swanky Sideshow again? I really don't think we get anything here besides like more coins. Oops. Already losing. Leader can go into bro three now. Oh God, you're right. Wow, we lost that pretty handedly. But I mean, isn't that just like bad, right? Because if, if your opponent plays anything that's more than three power, you're in trouble? I mean, maybe it's like another out condition? Another win condition? But it is really interesting that it does kind of fit there now. Okay, could you not do that anymore? Thank you. Wow, you're just gonna keep doing it on me. There we go. That won't stop people from doing it. That's true. That's true. All right, you throw me a bunch of cool stuff. Okay. There's, There's not much to win from doing those. What did it say? Swinging spiders? Oh, springing spiders. Okay, well, they don't hurt us. They are strictly platforms. That's good news. Gotta check all these nooks and crannies. Try to get 100% on the level first try. Uh, did not know that a barrel would blow up on a spider. Guess we've learned that now. Oh, interesting. Oh my goodness, the eggs in this game look so much better than the eggs in DKC2. That might be a really odd thing for me to notice, especially considering it's been just under one year since I played DKC2. 
You thought they were crackers? Yeah, we were calling them coconuts in DKC too because they were so awkward looking. But yeah, they be eggs. Where are these stupid bananas? Fudge. Fudge. You always called them coconut? They definitely look like coconuts in the in the second game, but like you can kind of tell in this one they got more yellow hue with the red dots. They look much more like eggs. All right, let's do this this time without immediately dying. You know, I said it and then I almost did it anyway. Bird mechanics. Good old squawky mechanics. Okay, dude, I need you to die, please. Please get out of my way. Thank you. Appreciate you a bunch. Good golly, three away. Oh, I hate going back down here. Whoa, spider dude, you almost killed me. All right. Could I please have some decent RNG? I'm so bad at bird mechanics. This game wasn't even designed to take quarters. I am throwing at it as if as if I have to pay a quarter each time. Okay. Easy peasy here. Just five more. We got plenty of time. No need to rush. Just four more. Three more. I still have to get down to the coin. It's fine. Nice. All right. Easy first try. Alright, we're still looking for a DK coin, probably another bonus barrel to be honest. bees there are really awkward feels like maybe I should be able to do something with them whoa that can't be everything that's up there right oh my goodness here I thought I was safe all right well we got another DK barrel fine, it's fine guys don't panic This looks like a bonus barrel if I ever saw one. No? A two up? 
boring. All these great places that could be secrets and they're just like baby secrets. We need secrets that actually count towards map completion. You know, things with erect flags at the end of them. All right. Oh, that's not our current goal at all. Micho Catbot, you are you are so behind on the times. We've got to update that update that command. Nope. Oh. That seems awkward to say the least. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to do that or not. Can we keep going up? What about this one up here? Hello. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to be down here. I want to be up here. No, wait, what? This is just backwards, isn't it? Weren't we already here? Okay, well, I don't understand what all that was about. Let's fix this gold bit real quick. Here, chat. Mm. No? Is it in... Where's this command at? It's not in Marvel Snap, is it? Social? Oh, I bet it's in my social. All right. Cat message. 1,250 followers. What do we get for that? It's a mystery. All right, fixed. Am I getting Street Fighter 6 or Final Fantasy 16? Uh, definitely not getting Final Fantasy 16 to Big O. Um, not a big Final Fantasy guy myself. Uh, respect the games they are they are fantastic games but i don't have the nostalgic deep lore connection you dog shit game um that i'm not gonna say it takes because it doesn't it definitely doesn't take that to enjoy the game but that just makes it an insta buy you know what i'm talking about um i've played like i've watched a bit of 10 to I watched a friend of mine like all day play was it Final Fantasy 7 had like Waka Ball or something like that where it was like this offshoot of soccer like all he did was play that mini game all day all day he was just sitting there it was back in college that's all he did he just played that one game Blitz Ball there you go yeah that's what it's called 100% uh, Street Fighter 6, I'm a fan of the Street Fighter series, I'm a fan of fighting games, but I am not, by any stretch of the imagination, internet good at fighting games, and I don't have a lot of people, it was Final Fantasy X, okay, okay, X2 was the one with like Riku and the other girl, right, it was mostly a female protagonist cast, um, but yeah, as far, as far as fighting games go, I like them, but I'm not internet good at them, and there's nobody IRL that I really play fighting games with, so I probably won't be picking it up. Alright, found a bonus barrel. Nice. Nice. Alright, all we need to find now is the DK coin, and I am really, really super hoping we haven't passed it, but considering we're right at the end of the level, I think we probably passed it. Unfortunate. You're not good, but it's still fun to get your ass kicked. <laughs> nice. 
Um, I picked up, what was it? Um, Dragon Ball? Fighter Eye or something? What's down there? Why are you in my way from getting there? Can I just like damage boost through you? I can't. Oh, well, that was this. Hmm. Doing this a second time for no reason. Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. And yeah, it's a it's a really good game. It's solid. Uh, the combos in it are, are really easy to move off, uh, pull off. It's actually pretty. Um, it's honestly pretty beginner friendly because a lot of the combos is just like weak attack, weak attack, medium, strong. It's guess gaming. Look at you showing up in chat. How you doing tonight, bud? This is the new battle mode we've been waiting for. You're right. Um, gosh, I got to play through this one again to find the DK coin. Yeah, no, we're taking a little bit of a break from Marvel Snap. We did um, 16 days of it this month, just Marvel Snap streams. Um, this channel got its original. It, it originated playing Donkey Kong 1. And then we played DKC 2. And so now we're going back to it. We're going back to the classics, finishing out the trilogy so that we say we did it on this channel. Uh, and I might, we're going to go through this level again, but I might, I got one place that I think the DK coins at. And uh, if it's not there, we're probably just going to quit. DK coins definitely not a squawks get. I'm gonna go through the level the non squawks way anyway because we didn't go that way last time. Well, lost a DK. Yeah, you gotta switch it up occasionally. You gotta switch it up occasionally. And we hit infinite, so like. Honestly, no joke. I hit infinite. It was off stream and I just stopped playing snap. I just stopped playing snap. I hit infinite yesterday and then didn't play snap again until I went on stream to get ready for cube rush. So like now that the climb is done, the, the, the drive has kind of kind of been done as well. Need to climb to it for the first time uh guest you saw the you saw the tweet you saw the announcement right the card back reward for for infinite that they're going to give out postseason oh, looks so good it looks so good they're giving me the two count them the two hey look there it is there it is there's the dk coin but they're getting me two cosmetic rewards for hitting infinite this season ah oh, they got my number it's so nice looking. And at first I was like, ah, uh, boring, low effort. It's a really nice looking card back, but they they literally gave this card back in the season pass. Like, ah, uh, boo, low effort. Um, But then, then I started looking at it. I started thinking about it. And the claws, the nails on the card are also golden. Which is really cool what in the god i just want to get that dk coin where are we going and so the claws are golden which is really cool but in addition to that i didn't realize this at first because i'm such a freaking whale um that card back is paid for in the season pass track it's not a free card back so for Hidden Infinite, you get a better looking version of a paid card back, which is pretty cool. How do I get up there? How do I get up there? If we drop down here, it's nothing, right? Thread this needle. Yeah, it just pops us back up. 
literally nothing down here besides this green. Remember, chat? We were here. I was like, oh, this feels like a secret place. We found the green one up and we quit. 100%. It incentivizes balance of gameplay and whaling. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're doing it good. They're doing it good. I mean, like, everybody, everybody. Hey, title's not enough for infinite reward. Title's not enough. I want something better. Second Dooner's out there being like, we got you, fam. We got you. We hear you. Here's something better. You like card back? Here's a card back. Infinitely better than you. There you go, crush. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know how this works now. We got a fat Kong. No, you dirty fuck. You're not supposed to be there. We got a fat Kong, right? No? This, this ground pound slam. This ground pound slam was a single use. A single use shenanigan. Nearly nothing. Just time, right? Let's just say you don't pay with money. An extra random card for getting infinite? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Crush. That would be nutty. You know what it is, right, chat? It's this fucking TNT barrel. We need that fucking TNT barrel. That's gotta be what it is. I'm getting this DK coin. Wait, where's the DK coin? I don't remember where we were in relation to the midway. card a week that's a good point they're putting out a card a week you can purchase you can purchase one card gain the other card for hitting infinite and then like hard purchase with the uh, battle pass right and then use your tokens on the other one that's still not getting you one of the cards right like, didn't Broad say something about they expect folks to be able to get tokens to get one Series 5 or two Series 4 a month? All right. Where Will this work? Brown Paladin. Yeah, new, new snap mode. This is that battle mode we've been talking about. See, we got two players, two monkeys hanging out. Can I blow this wall up? Like, how? What the fuck am I blowing up here? Well, fuck. Ugh. Two cards away from series three complete. Oh, Invisible Woman. A honestly a pretty big card guest. I think you're gonna like hiding things behind woman more than just. Uh, yeah, Invisible Woman is currently pinned. Um, yeah, you'll like more. Knowing you, you'll enjoy that card more than just hiding hella behind it. It's right down here. It is below us. I need to go down. Uh, I got a 8-bit dough Super Nintendo form factor controller. And then it is playing on a Super NT. An analog gaming device. It emulates the Super Nintendo hardware via FPGA. That's Field Programmable Gate Arrays. Uh, so unlike software emulators, this is like literally the hardware of the Super Nintendo. Um, but you fuck nut. Uh, and you can like literally plug in old Super Nintendo controllers, old Super Nintendo cartridges, uh, the Super Scope, anything that integrated with the original Super Nintendo works with this device. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh, at the end of stream, if you're still around Brown Paladin, I'll actually show the, the console off. Just the, the way that I've got it set up, it, it's not enough cable length for me to show it on cam. 
the annoyingness of loving your surfer decks and having Maximus wait this long in your collection. Hey, could have been worst guest. Could have been brood. Uh, surfer almost unplayable without brood. How the fuck? What, what is the name of this? I'm, I'm cheating. I'm cheating, chat. Cheating. Springing spiders DK coin. Super Mario Wiki? Well, that's a little odd. DK coin. Requires Kitty to be in the lead. The Kongs reach the third nid and the Starbell go on it. Peak of the jump, Kitty must use team up, then jump off nid, throw Dixie to upper left, land on a platform with a steel barrel. Wait, what? When the Kongs reach the third nid, I don't know what a nid is. Uh, I have played this game before Brown Paladin. A handful of times. Uh, I've hundred percented it before at least once. Um, but I'm not like speedrunner or super memory of it. Last two cards, Wong and Thor. Ooh, the big O, that's rough. My first card was Wong. And I think my second was Zola. Okay, wait, what are we talking about? Find the coin requires Kitty to be in lead. When the Kongs reach the third nid after the star barrel. The third nid. Is that a nid? That's not a nid, is it? The third nid. They must go on it. When the nid is at the peak of his jump, Kitty must use team up. Okay, wait a second. Nid must be these spiders. I was extremely lucky, Brown Pallet, and I could not complain at all. I had some of the greatest early collection three luck. And also, like, you get Wong going for your first card, you've got the rest of Wong going. Or you get Wong as your first card, you've got the rest of Wong going. You have ongoing cards and you have Spectrum. So, yeah, my early collection level three, not gonna lie, kind of an easy clock. All right, this is, we're, we're gonna say that's a nid, right? So that's nid one. All right, there's nid two. Here's nid three. Oh, I see it now. How the hell was I supposed to freaking see this? There we go. And then we blow up that wall. Okay, that should work, right? Boom, all right. Fully erect and striped flag. Can we, I, I've been trying to press the other direction for a hot minute there. Rash's cabin? So the first guy wanted the seashell, is what we figured. Uh, Banana Brain Kongs. Wow, rude. What do you think coming into my cabin like that? See that river bank? I did it in a minute 15. Didn't do it in double that time? Yeah, I did. I beat your record. You've held it for two years? Get out of here, dude. Uh, wh what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna throw a little hissy fit? He is gonna throw a little hissy fit. Uh, Brown Pallet, and I'm also just not good at him. I'm also just not good at him. Um, I, I do think that they're... They're pretty good. I enjoy them a lot. I think the, the Donkey Kong Countries on the Super Nintendo were, were some of the best. Uh, Donkey Kong Country 1, definitely just a good classic. Um, oh, well, that's cute. Um, beyond a shadow of a doubt, though, Donkey Kong... Okay, what are you doing in there, dude? Rude. Donkey Kong Country 2 is probably objectively the best of the DKCs. Um, you know, they, they had their lessons learned from Donkey Kong 1 and L and R. 
Okay. They had their their lessons learned from Donkey Kong 1, and it was the same team that worked on Donkey Kong 1. This is a different team from the one that worked on Donkey Kong 1 and 2. And you can kind of feel that with like the different design choices and cool gameplay stuff. But it also it also to be fair, you know, kind of has that new team feel to it which just doesn't have the same polish that DKC2 did. But it, it's got really good innervations. Like, it's 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 a really fun game. This is a fucking bananas. Okay. Try that again. Can I try that again? I need more water? Okay, give me some water. I can't go back there. Rude, rude. Right. Don't really care about the K. The K does not have any bearing on Us getting a completion rating. Yeah. Let me use those other trigger buttons. Right. Nice. Perfect. We still got four water bullets stored up in our trunk. Which is a little. A little uncomfortable to think about that this what the fuck are we supposed to do if they just disappear after I grab another one and it took all my water away all right we're damage boosting how the fuck are we supposed to do this I don't have... I do not have... a way to get around that again. Alright. I think I have a really bad idea of how to get through that. My really bad idea involves racing against that guy. Just like that. That's exactly what we're gonna do, but in the bonus stage. Alright. So we drop one barrel. Drop another barrel. Okay, I see what happened. I don't agree with it, but I see what happened. A little damage boost, a little damage boost just to get to the bonus barrel. All right. I wanna drop these guys. Oh, that's really good. That was exactly what we needed right there. Freaking perfect. All right, figured it out. Just throw the barrel a little bit farther. Who would have thought? Alright. I almost just like ran right into that bee. Did not care. I need water. I need water. Um, hello? I would please like some water. That's good enough. Okay, maybe it's not good enough. Maybe it's the exact opposite of good enough. Maybe I don't need water at all. I just have to suck these TNT barrels near me. 
easy platforming. Kind of rude. They gave you that bonus barrel that was like, this is how you use barrels before they taught you the mechanic in the game. Okay. DK coin get. Midway point get. Alright. Alright. Can I get water from here? It doesn't look like there's a scary fish down there, does there? Oh, but you can't you can't swim under water with you can only swim on top. Alright. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was my fault. Okay, bonus barrel down there is the idea to come backwards after I get rid of Dumbo here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, I think I see what it is. But enemies don't respawn, so I don't get a second try? Oh my gosh. We were supposed to ride those stupid beetles and then come down with enough downward momentum that we touch the barrel what what how was I supposed to see that okay well we'll just take a second try at it now we know the hidden secrets we can get through it Oh no, don't touch me. Woo. Okay. There we go. Okay, this is it. This is it. Right? So these things come. I didn't kill it, so it should respawn, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 perfect, perfect. You guys actually pause and wait for me too. That's so nice. All right, got it. Ten stars. There's not even that many stars. Ooh, the lag there was not good for me. All right, I gotta keep. Can't, can't forget, like, when I pick up another barrel, the old barrel disappears. I don't have any water. Easy. Easy. D got all the Kong letters. We got the DK coin. We got the second bonus barrel. I think that's everything, ain't it? I think we got everything in that level. Yeah, we did. A rich ambush. Bobbing barrel brawl. Oh, what is this? Ooh, a rich's hoard. Yeah, 100%. There we go. Oh, yeah, here we go. Little Guitar Hero before Guitar Hero even came out. Let's get ourselves a banana bird. So there's a bunch of these banana birds scattered throughout the uh, islands. And if you collect all of them and take them back to... Uh, 
Your grandmother, Winky? Wrinkly? I think her name's Wrinkly. Yeah, Wrinkly's save cave. Then she'll take care of the birds for you, there. Gonna save in here. And then I think if you get all the birds, it unlocks the mysterious, like, floating bird island for the last level or something. Oops. And we'll be doing that on this run, too. We will get every erect uh, triangle flag. So that's all bonus barrels, all DK tokens, coins, coins with a K. And we will find all of... All the banana birds. Just like throw this into your belly button? Ah well. Okay, very first time, able to jump on them, no problem. Second and third time, a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, it is that easy. Okay. Dude, you are so bad at being a boss. Like, be real for a second. You're just bouncing up and down. Oh, there you go. Now you've got... Now you've got something. That's something. There's an attack move. Oh, goodness. Broke my barrel. Okay, okay. Easy. Oh my goodness. Right after I said easy too. And then I sat there and stuck my butt at him until he shot it with a green ball. Ow. Just quit now. You? I think I need to kind of speed run it that way. Oh my god, not that way. But yeah, I think um, after I grab the barrel, if I just kind of jump up and meet him as he's coming down, we'll be okay to kind of hit him, take care of him in the quickness. He goes up there, he spits some balls, he comes down, we hit him before he spits more balls. Oh, he didn't even do a ball cycle after getting hit. Interesting. Spit some balls. Oh my goodness, I did not hit him as early as I was hoping to. Oh, I thought I was done for there. Oh no! Our strat did not work out for us. I think we were just getting lucky the one time. Yeah, we were definitely just getting lucky the one time. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry. I just. Oh no. Okay. Okay, we got we got a slower roll here. Slow it down just a little bit. Bit your balls, bud. Now come meet my barrel. Yes. Right, so apparently we don't believe in the rule of threes for boss health. I'm gonna guess we believe in the rule of fives. I do believe this is the first real boss. The other boss being kind of a mini halfway boss. This boss blows with Kitty Kong. What am I supposed to do with this? You gotta like actually aim it? What the f Okay. This is impossible with Kitty. We're just gonna use Dixie and... Right. Dixie's all we need. Nice, there we go. You can't hit me here, can you? Okay. 
Nice. Don't touch me. Nope, don't touch me. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That spot was not safe anymore. That's three, right? So we got two more, if we believe in the rule of fives. Wow, the worst part is like, I also... I also have to protect the barrel. Also have to protect the barrel. Alright, we're gonna get... We're gonna get sneaky with it. Watch this. First hit's easy, right? We use Dixie. We get the first hit. Easy. He starts bouncing again. We say, thank you, ma'am. And we get the second hit. Alright. He does his little green spit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We set this down. Switch to kitty. Set it down and hide right here in the corner. I guess he's not spitting green balls, so we're okay. All right, green balls hide in the corner. Perfect, perfect. All right, set the barrel down, switch to kitty, hide in the corner. Nice. Switch back to Dixie. Deal the damage. Is that it? Yes! Alright. First boss fight down! Oh, is it not down yet? Do I still have to like... Oh! I actually collect something from the boss. A little band-aid. Interesting. Blunder's booth? Yo, there's so many bears in here. I wonder if Windebers played this game. I do know that there's a Lost World. Yeah, you did just let the cat out of the bag. But I also did already know that. Is there... Yes, Secret Highland, Bounty Beach, another little Guitar Hero se section. Easy, easy every time, guys. Another banana bird. These birds are shaped like bananas. I don't know, doesn't make sense to me either. Oh, a patch? Oh, this is just what you needed. I went and beat up of it. I beat the hell out of a spider so that you could get a band-aid? You're gonna get a cool new tub for you to rub a dub dub? Okay, cranky. Ooh, a hovercraft. Uh, how? How did we create a hovercraft out of a motorboat with a bandage patch? so much faster now Boop. right over some rocks Boop. another banana bird cave Kong cave easy every time chat easy every time All right, and then the last thing I want to do, I want to buy this dude's stuff. Give me the shell. I will purchase this. Thank you. Who owns the castle? You ventured up there once? No, just, it, oh, cost me two coins? No, I ain't. We're not paying for information today. We're good on that. Alrighty, chat. Well, I think that's, uh, we beat World 1, Donkey Kong Country 3. Pretty good for day 17 of our stream of games. Um, let us... Did we save? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
let's make sure we save here. Go to Wink Wrinkly Safe King. Uh, she's asleep. She's not going to mind us saving. There we go. We got 21 bonus coins. We still have 20 coin currency dollars. 10 DK coins. 25% uh, complete. We've played for an hour 47. We got the first badge and we found ourselves the seashell as well with three banana birds. Dig it. Dig it. All right. We got that save in. We got the actual save in. Um see here some of the things we can do with this right um is it in scalers yeah so i i normally play with no scaler but for instance we can turn on high quality quote unquote and it kind of smooths out the pixels uh i don't like that as much to be honest uh i mean that was all the way up to the to the insane level of four, right? You can kind of just do, you know, maybe a little bit too. You can also just make the pixels bigger at two or three X. You can go X-ray mode. I don't know what the purpose of this scaler is, but you can apply this scaler to the game. You know, that's something. Uh, let's turn that, turn that back to the good old right and then you can, you can mess with the resolution and stuff but i always kind of run at the um oh no that's not the where you it would be the cropping you can crop it and do different things like that but i think i've got it set to where it's like the original aspect ratio and the original graphic scaling and then uh if you're if you like scan lines you can kind of add the scan lines in make it look like it's an old crt I really like this console. It's it's a really cool console. Uh, again, it works with the actual cartridges for the SNES. It's just a perfect way to do, you know, some good old video game pers preservation. Um, you can do the old Game Shark cheat codes directly into it as well. Um, yeah, so that's that's about it. Um, you are about to leave the file browser. Doing so will stop the running game. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then, yeah, um, you want to check it out, guys. This is what it looks like. And we can go over to just chatting screen. This is what the Super NT looks like. Again, it uses the exact same ports for the controllers. So the Super 8-bit uh, Nintendo controllers that I got, 8 bit do controllers. I had to buy adapters that would actually work on an old Super Nintendo to work with this console. And then yeah, you just um boop, SD card. Um it does not it does not support loading ROMs off of an SD card out of the box. It only supports the actual cartridges, but there's an unofficial firmware update which uh, they actually say if you put the unofficial firmware update, it does not void the warranty of the machine. And it's actually made, the firmware updates made by the main designer of, of the console. Uh, Debigo, you can go to analog. Um, I think it's analog.com. You're looking for this symbol here. There's the company symbol. I don't know if these are still in production. Um, I think what they recently did was uh, they did another printing of this Super Genesis. But this guy, this guy went on pre-orders and within five minutes was sold out. Same thing with the uh, NT Noir, which is like their Cadillac version of a original NES. And that thing, like this is plastic. The, um, the NT Noir is a full metal body. It is insane. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. They might still be... They might still have some of these for sale. They do Game Boy replications, um, utilizing the same kind of um, FPGA technology, so it's still hardware and can still use the original hardware. Um, they do Super Genesis as well. Analog.co. Here's the Super NT info page.
FPGA technology. Let me see here. Do they actually have... Do they have any of these things for sale anymore? Store... So the analog pocket, their Game Boy Pocket that plays like all the different Game Boys is like 220 bucks. I haven't picked up one of those because I have plenty of... I literally have plenty of Game Boys hanging around that still work fine. Um, they've got their Mega SG, the USA and Japan edition. They're about two hundred dollars. That's the Mega, the Sega Mega, Se the Sega Master System, uh, kind of console. Um, the Super NT, yep, they've got them for sale. They're two hundred bucks. So I mean, they're not cheap. They are not cheap at all. Um, but it is again, it is unlike a, unlike playing a game emulated on the computer where it's doing software computer emulation. This is actual hardware. It will work with all the original hardware and um, speedrunners kind of prefer, prefer this to software emulation because again, it is the, it's close to frame perfect to the original hardware as you can get. Um, so I'm a nerd like that and I like collecting good stuff and I'm all about retro video game preservation. Um, so that's that's where that's at, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight, going through Donkey Kong Country Three. We'll play some more Donkey Kong Country Three for sure. Uh, we'll, we'll and don't worry, we'll get back to Snap too. I just wanted to make sure to have a break from Snap when I can. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, I'm not gonna bother shooting out a raid. Uh, it's a little bit late, so we're just gonna go through the credits screen. Um, you're welcome to Big O. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. You know. It's 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 just as true with Marvel Snap, or it's just as true with Donkey Kong Country. Thank you, Ram Ram. Just as true. Thank you so much, Ram Ram. Just as true with Donkey Kong Country as it is with Marvel Snap. And that that it's a really fun game to play. Even more fun when I get to play it here with you live on Twitch.tv.